Today we are really presenting our product offensive of e-mobility and there we have everything from the Minimo which is kind of an urban micro-mobility project. We have the uh, Cupra Formentor which is also a plug-in hybrid vehicle which shows like my, more the high performance model and we have the Elborn where we are really proud also to uh, announce it today because it's actually the, uh, our first vehicle which will be put on the MEB platform of the group which is basically the state-of-the-art technology you are going to have in uh, electromobility. I personally think it's only possible to sell a car when the car is sexy from the outside. And we made a really sexy car with this airborne. Yeah? And equipped with the, with the advanced technology of an electric drivetrain with a big battery of 62 kilowatt hours which is placed in the floor of the car which can be recharged up to 47 minutes to 80 percent. This car is really good equipped and um, it's possible to drive 420 kilometers with this drivetrain. I think micromobility or urban mobility is a very important topic. We see more and more traffic restrictions in urban areas so I think it's a task of the automotive brand or of an automotive group to come up with solutions in order to improve mobility in urban areas. That's why we have developed a vehicle which has a very reduced footprint, only 3.1 square meters compared to 7 point something of a normal vehicle, which actually makes it easier to park this vehicle. Especially we haven't so much thought about the final customer, but also about mobility sharing users or mobility sharing platforms. So car sharing companies actually which have a very high operation costs and we have done the perfect purpose designed vehicle for mobility services with a battery swapping system. This is the spare head of the offensive of SEAT going in the direction of electromobility. As you see also here we have some other cars. So really we are kicking off our offensive by, by selling uh, electrified cars uh, up to an urban two-seater uh, to a uh, plug-in hybrid car which is really performant. And um, so we are very proud to go in this direction now. We have a younger customer target group uh, than the VW group in general. Our customers are 10 years younger, but also within our competitive environment, uh, our customers are younger. We have analyzed that over 70% of our new car buyers are actually looking on connectivity functions. Therefore, for us, it was very important and we were one of the first brands to introduce things like Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, um, because we actually have a very, very high usage rate of these uh, ecosystems within our vehicles. The Elborn offers a range of 420 kilometers based on the new WLTP test cycle. Alejandro, we're here in front of the first purely electric Seat ever. How hard or how challenging is it for you as a designer to create a car like this without losing the spirit of Seat? Well, this is um, actually a, a real challenge. It was a real challenge to create this uh, Seat Elborn, our first electric vehicle, because the architecture is new. And then um, this always uh, has to, we have to find always a new way of expressing the typical values from SEAT when we have a new architecture. Basically, uh, Elborn, um, it leaves, let's say, or its architecture leaves from the disposition of the batteries in the floor pan, which makes the car uh, having a very long wheelbase, very short overhangs, pretty tall. Uh, because the occupants are above the batteries and also a very advanced or cab forward cabin because of aerodynamics but also because there is no engine at the front so we're using the the, the space uh, of no engine let's say uh, for the cabin for the occupants so it's a all in all a new architecture a new opportunity and as you can see a seat but that lives with a new technology the rear is decorated with LED taillights in the typical SEAT design, which are connected by a light strip. Another eye-catcher is the large double-wing spoiler, which optimizes the aerodynamics of the SEAT Elborn and supports the sporty look. The interior looks clear and modern. In addition to the digital cockpit, a 10-inch display for the infotainment system is located in the center of the dashboard. To be well prepared for the future, the Seat Elborn has systems that allow partial automation of the vehicle steering, acceleration and braking. 